hello guys this is tabs welcome to my youtube channel again i feel cool today and i want to share another video with you and in this video i want to be showing you exactly how to change your wordpress theme without losing your content and without breaking your site in my, one of my previous video i saw someone ask me this question how can i change my theme to cadence theme and still have my WooCommerce product without breaking my site. In case you are just stumbling on my on this channel for the very first time, you are watching my video for the very first time, uh, you're welcome. This is Daps. I'm so excited to be sharing this video with you. I upload videos every now and then showing you things that work with WordPress, just teaching you little hacks around WordPress that will help you look like a pro, even though you are a non-techie. So this channel basically is for non-techies so if you are that kind of person you're interested in wordpress you want to have a website you are looking for how to get some things done that's not necessarily how dead that most other youtubers would not really focus on then you should be subscribing to this youtube channel because that's the only way you will get notified when i post awesome videos just like this one perhaps if we are looking into switching themes there are several ways we can get that done uh, but in this video, I uh, I can't possibly show you all those ways. The basic hack behind you switching theme without you losing any of your content or breaking your site is for you to switch your theme in a safe environment and never in a production environment. If you understand this concept, then you would find it very, very easy to do. If you switch your theme in an environment where it is safe, where if you break your files, if you run into an error, you still have your production live. You still have your live website intact and nothing is wrong. It will be easy. So you migrate your website to a safe environment and then you switch theme, edit, do everything you want to do around it. Then migrate it back to your live website. That's just the basic hack. If this is very difficult, if you can't really, really understand this, I'll break this down. And when I start talking about it, you would understand basically how this is done. However, again, it's still possible for you to switch theme in a live or a production website. Uh, but one thing you must do, one of the rules you must do before you do anything around switching your theme is for you to back up your website. That's very, very important. Basically, what uh, a safe environment means is that you perhaps transfer your files your website files to somewhere save or uh, somewhere you can just test and play around and then switch the team and did the team see how your website look like look at the pictures that are broken change them uh, look at your products that are not displaying then walk around them walk around the outlay of the new theme definitely the theme would uh, things that will conflict with each other but again in 2020 in all honesty I really need to say this because it is very important. People shouldn't be switching themes anymore. You shouldn't be switching themes. You should get to a point where you have standard for the themes you are choosing. One, one of the advice I can give anyone is, please, if you be using a theme, I don't really care how much that theme will cost, if it is free, if it is paid, make sure that that theme is highly compatible with general plugins general page builders that you can really use for example cadence as we can see on the screen is is not that popular in that sense but it works well with elementor if i have this theme installed on my website i don't really need to change the theme i can change my outlook of my website using my page builder using templates using a lot of things and i have my website intact so you really, really do not need to. So you have to be careful that the theme you want to install your WooCommerce, your website on is a theme that support the general page builders that you can easily find your way around like the Elementors, the Gutenberg, Breezy, uh, WP Bakery, uh, Beaver Builder, uh, maybe DV. You, you just have to you just have to just have to ensure that you do that that's very very important because if you use a theme that has its own personal page builder 
you'll be stuck without him except if you don't really care about the content on the site anymore you don't care about the outlay you just want to pull down the site and you want to come up with something new entirely but if you have consideration for your product for information for some stuff you've done on that site then you have to be very careful of the kind of themes you install so briefly i will just want to rush through some of the method which which you can switch your theme in a safe environment uh the first one will be that you switch your theme on your local pc uh, but basically you can just install wordpress on your laptop and you'd be able to copy your live website to your laptop and switch the theme test with the theme and play around with it and see that everything is okay and then once you are done you move it back to your live website and that's very easy to do for some people they install zamp on their laptop but for me i i usually love to do that with bitnami because that's very easy you can install wordpress on your laptop with just some few clicks of the button and you have uh your your we have wordpress on your local host and as you can see on my screen here i've got this wordpress website installed on my local host and as you can see the url here says localhost slash wordpress so this wordpress website right now is not a live website it is installed on my laptop and you can see i, I installed a team here and i can as well just copy my website files this same website here and then i would move it to the local host and then i will do all my editing check with the new theme and then upload it back into my live website so that's one cool first step that you can get that done in case you don't know how to install wordpress on your local host or you have issues doing that i have a video around that you should see a link on the screen now or check the description below to see exactly how to use bitnami to install wordpress as simple as a, a few clicks of button into your PC. So that's the very first thing you can do for you to have this done. And secondly, and as a matter of fact, as a, as a, as a rule of thumb, even if you want to move your website to or your local host and then migrate it back to your live website, the first thing I would advise you to do is to take a backup of your website because anything can happen anytime uh, it could be when you are trying to transfer your 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 wordpress files on your local host back to your pc something happened and you lost your maybe your laptop crash or anything something anything can happen and i love installing my backup on a cloud server onto dropbox somewhere safe somewhere i know that if anything happened I can always have my website back. It's very, very, very important you do. And that's also another step for you to switch your theme and edit your website on your live website or production website. See, if you really don't know how to take a backup of your website, install it on a cloud server. I also have a video around Updraft. Updraft is a very good tool for you to be able to get that done. And you should see a link on the screen right now or check the description below for you to see a link to that tutorial to see exactly how to take a backup of your website and how to restore it afterwards take a backup of your website edit your live website if you run into any error if you have any issues restore your website back to what it used to be uh, it's that very simple so most times if you have to do that you may need to maybe display coming soon page on your home page such that people do not see what you are doing in case you don't know how to do that you don't know how to make your website go into maintenance mode and then you edit the live website then i also have a video around that you would see how you can easily get that done with the plugin you should see a link on the screen right now or check the description below for you to see exactly how to get that done another method which i believe you can do which is generally maybe the the industry standard is for you to edit switch your theme or edit your theme uh, on a staging site and from there move it back to a live site the first method is something very similar uh, you can edit your website on your local or serving as a staging site and then moving it back using a plugin 
but the limitation of that is that your website is only limited to your laptop okay just imagine if you are uh, a web designer a web developer and you're developing a site for your client and you have to switch the theme uh, your client needs to see it before uh, you can move it to your live website it needs to be approved it needs to go through some processes of or maybe go through some set of people before it can be approved uh, you, you can not imagine that you have your laptop moved around what if your client is not even in the same city with you so that's the issue you need to have this website live on a staging website for people to see and then you'll be able to now move to your live website so it's 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 like that uh, and there are two basic ways that i believe you can create a staging website for yourself number one you have to look for hosting providers that provide this service uh, some hosting providers will give you access to staging websites uh, a typical one is SiteGround. SiteGround is best known for speed and SiteGround is that hosting account which you can have access to just copying your files, just migrating your site to a staging site and then do all the editing, switch out the theme there and then restore it back on your live website. That way you don't have any downtime, your website is always live. Uh, you people will you don't get to have a maintenance page for maybe like a week or two trying to edit your site and your site is live and uh, your site is down uh, it, and I think that's 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 standard that's professional and for some reasons again you may not be you may never be able to always have every website you want on an hosting that has a staging service uh, for example what if you have a client who have designed a website uh, that you want to switch theme for a date for and that client is not using a hosting service that provides staging environment or staging website you cannot possibly want to start migrating the website to your hosting account which is SiteGround and then start editing or putting it on a staging website it doesn't really really do make sense it's a lot of work uh, it's just you just roaming around wasting time uh, it doesn't really make sense and that's the reason why there is a provision for a third party website that provides staging environment there are quite tons a lot of them out there but one of the one i can recommend you to check out will be wp stage coach uh, it's one fantastic tool that you can use to create a staging website if you register with them and sign up with them they'll give you a plugin that you can install in your wordpress and then you can migrate your site through that plugin and then you have it on the staging site and once you are done you are able to transfer your edited website that you have changed the team back to your live website very important you must make sure that any staging service you're using has those two facilities you can see from this from the diagram on the screen there's an entry there's an exit you must make sure that you have that two basic options very very important you can check their pricing they have uh flexible pricing if you're a freelancer if you are maybe a, a well set up agency uh, they have yearly and monthly plans and the beautiful thing is that they give free trial for whichever of the service you want to use be it a yearly or even a monthly plan you can come here and check their trial if you are not able to finish up within the range of your trial then you can just maybe pay for a month for twelve dollars for you to use this service which makes a lot of sense so right now i think you know which one to use for any point in time if it's just your website and you are there alone you don't need to show a client you don't need to have a life brings it downloading your wordpress files and installing them onto your local host might just be the quickest act for you easy way for you to get that done without having to worry about paying or doing anything and if you're using siteground hosting or any other hosting that supports you to have a stage website you can check with your hosting provider if that services is there that would be fantastic and that's the best way for you to switch your themes so I guess I've been able to show you exactly the steps for you to take 
to switch your themes without losing any of your content or without breaking your site thank you very much for watching this video i hope it has brought you value if it has done uh give me give me a thumbs up i would appreciate that drop a comment for me in the comment section below if you have any issue or any question i'll be glad to give you answers as much as i can in the meantime i'll see you in my next video bye for now <music>